If you are the proud owner of an antique or classic car, then you know how important it is to take care of it. You will want to have special car insurance for these special cars. How do you define a classic car? If your car is more than 20 years old it does not automatically make it a classic or antique car. You will have to do some research and talk to some professionals to be sure. However, there are a few guidelines that can help you. Many sources indicate that in order to be antique car, it must have been produced before World War I, or prior to the year 1916. This makes it rare for very many people to own antique cars, and makes it even more important to have special car insurance designed for classic and antique cars. The Classic Car Club of America had defined the years 1925 through 1948 to be the years of manufacture for cars to be considered classics. If your car is newer than that, it is not officially a classic car. However, you could have a car that was built sometime within those years that is not considered classic. There are many factors that come into play such as the make and model of the car and even some of the components such as the kinds of brakes and types of luxury appointments. You would need to check with the Classic Car Club of America for the final word on whether your older car is considered a classic or not. It is important that you discuss the issue with someone who knows the rules, because they vary from state to state. You don't want to pay higher car insurance fees just because someone told you they think it is a classic. Autos from the 1960s and 1970s are sometimes considered modern classics, but that does not mean that they are on a classic status for insurance purposes. Once that you have determined that your car is indeed a classic or an antique, you can talk to a specialist about the proper kind of auto insurance you will need for it. There will probably be some mileage requirements, such as an upper limit of 5,000 miles put on the car per year although some companies have special add-ons for more miles. The reason for this is that a classic car is usually not the main vehicle that is used for driving, and the policy can cost less if it is a limited mileage policy. Some classic insurance policies will give discounts if you are a member of a classic car club, so it may be to your advantage to join one. You may even be able to get good information on cheap car insurance through the club. When you sign up for classic car insurance, you need to be sure that you have agreed upon a set value for the cost of the car in case of a claim. It is also important to check on the value each year, as it may increase as it remains in good shape as it gets older. Just make sure you have enough insurance to cover your classic car for all possibilities. Share this video and subscribe us for more auto insurance videos.